And Wuhan Belt Transitional Government is uh, is an open book. In 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 so far as everything we plan to do, everything we think that can be done, in order to creatively solve this crisis, this destructive crisis, we have documented and given to the national government. And the dialogue bit, we also try to do that quite openly. And, uh, but the problem is there is so much suspicion of us by the Defense Force and by perhaps even the Prime Minister. We are in constant dialogue with the national government. We are part of the national government, the Bougainville well Transitional Government. And the, the problem is, in the course of the dialogue, what we tell them, they don't take it as the truth. I think that's, that's the problem. And the other aspect is that they should also reestablish the dialogue with the rebel leaders. At the moment, I am not restricted, as far as I understand. I was, my movement was restricted on the basis that uh, I was advised that it was being restricted for my own safety. My, it has been my, my, uh, my rule of operation and my rule of existence that whenever there is something being done, I must try to understand. I must understand. I try to understand the BRA and the leaders. I try to understand the national government. I quite understand what my people want. It is no secret, and that's the thing that is a lot of suspicion. People at heart want independence. But my view is that that is what people want. But it is the duty of leaders to try and see if that is good for the people without suppressing it, but let it be discussed so that not for the benefit of maybe the leaders, but for the benefit of those who, who think that something can, some miracle can happen just by using those words or even by demanding that. That has to be talked about so that everybody can understand. And maybe that's, that, that's too ideal of, of me to, to, to say that. But I think it's talk about it, understand, and find a solution.